Good evening. Welcome to the November 7th Board of Health meeting. Um, we have no hearings or appointments scheduled this evening. We will get right into the action items. Invoices. We have an invoice for P&D Associates for Sharps Disposal for 185 and Crystal Rock for Water for 529. Can I get a motion for approval? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Minutes, did you have a chance to look at the minutes? I did. All right, so can I get a motion to approve the minutes from on the October 17th? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Disposal works, construction permits. We have new constructions on lot two, Washington, 560 Thatcher Street, 451 Central, 572 Bedford, 726 Winter, 178 Sherwood Circle, 1961 Washington. Um, that is it, and um, there are no variances or issues with any of those, so I will ask for a motion to approve all of those. Is variances for the repairs? For the two repairs, yep. Okay. Uh, motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Food establishment. Um, we are Bananas, 125 Highland Street. This is a new... Okay, this is 125 Highland Street was the daycare center that's right up on the corner of Highland and Bedford. Um, she, I went back and looked at her approval because this dates back to about two years ago. Yeah, it was a little gray. Is it a and truck or a, or a site? It's a site. Did she she a originally wanted a cafe in there, okay. and we told her until she added on to the septic leaching, she couldn't have the cafe oh, as I a remember. sit down. Yes. So it's takeout only. And when she either hooks up to sep to sewer because that's going to be going by there, or expands her leaching, then she can go full cafe. And the We Are Bananas doesn't have a food truck also, correct? Not that I know of, not from the this. bottom of one of those papers, it said the pricing, so I didn't know yeah, if that was that something. Was, that's that was just, just information. Yeah. Okay. We Are Bananas, takeout only. Coffee, donuts, tea, I think there's a menu, smoothies maybe, non-dairy stuff, uh, no baking, no cooking, no grease. Yeah, the food is just reheat. Yep. And what about the fruit? The fruit, just, it's going to be regular. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, motion to approve. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, body art practitioners, these are the two that have come up a couple of different times. I guess all their paperwork is now completed. They so have their series of hepatitis shots, yep. I will ask for a motion to prove Julio Caesar and Fausto T. Marquez. Sorry if I ruined those. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Betterment loans. Okay, this one, we, the only reason we had, a, we had a question on it and we were trying to get it in there. Um, some of the criteria for the betterment was fuzzy. Mm -hmm. This is a trust. We could track the trust oh, okay. to the individual. Uh, however, the person does not live on the site. It's a rental property from what we understood. So, so does that fall under the guidelines for the betterment loans? One, it said it did, and the other one, it said it didn't. So we were kind of like... Whether who qualifies for the, it says under who qualifies for the loan. The loan is available to East Bridgewater residents that own a resident with a failing septic system and that do not plan on selling the residence. The applicant must be the owner of record on the deed and must be up to date with property taxes. Um, so it doesn't mention. So do the treasurer's office confirm or do they? They confirm. They confirm that the person is a trustee. Her husband died she is the trustee that's left so she is the owner of the property um it doesn't say whether or not you can use it for rentals that's was what we yeah that's the gray pot and that she doesn't plan on selling it i think doesn't she have her family living in there or something i as far relatives. as i know it's not relatives okay she did say on the application too though she did sign saying that owner occupied yes so so maybe we should table this until okay because um, I think we need to clarify those things just right, before we exactly. issue that. All right, and then the 2023 board meetings. Our next scheduled meeting would be the Monday of Thanksgiving, but I did speak to Jean Marie. She doesn't think that's going to be a super busy time. So I'm thinking we'll just postpone and do our first Monday, the first Monday in December. Uh, December 5th? Yes. Does that work for you? It works for me. Everybody? So there won't be a November 21st meeting. No. Okay. All right, health agent updates. Okay. Um, I'm, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, did you? Nope, go ahead. All right. Um, basically, it's been very, very busy, um, and the help in the office has been great. 
Um, we have multiple site assessments for parks and, and repairs. 130 Brenda Ave, 238 West Pond, 627 Bridge Street, and 1257 Washington Street. Um, repairs actually in process right now. 560 Thatcher in those. New construction is Lot 2 Washington Street, which will be 1189? Um, yes. 1189 will be that address when, you know, just to let you know, there's a farmhouse for sale with a lot on either side. This is one of those lots. In 1961 Washington Street is new construction. They're tearing down the houses there. Oh, okay. So that's why it needed to meet new construction code. Okay. <clears throat> um, food inspections, the Villa at Ritter's, Adria, Johnny Mac 2, reinspection is going to be needed. Standish Grill, um, they got reinspected. We took action and then they were open at 2 o'clock the next day. They did a great job cleaning up. Um, and I just did today, and it's not on here because I really just got it, mm -hmm. was um, Honeydew Donuts at Franklin Street, and it's called Tritown Convenience because we received um, a concern regarding public bathrooms there. Um, they don't have any seats, so they don't trigger in needing a public bathroom. It's takeout only. Okay, but they inspected and they both both of them did fine. It's really actually quite very good clean establishment. Mosquitoes, we've had a frost so we don't trap anymore or do any more assessment on that. Um, Heather set up an additional vaccine clinic for December 12th. As soon as I get the link to sign up online, I will send out that notice to everyone and it's in the Council on Aging December newsletter already. Um, Housing, ongoing concerns, 147 Thayer, 558 West, 441 Summer Street, and I have a new one at 165 Bridge Street that I'll be doing this week. Okay, there's a new webinar this week on Thursday um, with the housing code changes. I will update you guys in January when I get all the new worksheets done just so you don't have to be bogged down with that. Online permitting, we're sending out both emails and snail mail reminders uh, for applications this year not all our food places have emails that they've given us so we need to fill in the gap food establishments milk cream tobacco septic and trash haulers body art establishments and practitioners all expire december 31st um, installers in expire december 31st but sometimes they won't do their first job till april so as long as they've got us a application in by the time they do their first job we're good with that. Okay. That's pretty much it, I think, for me. Okay. And we do strongly recommend all those people with permit renewals try to get them in before the December 25th holiday because that next week is always spotty. Yeah, we're going to try and get them in by the first week of December. That would be wonderful. Um, <coughs> topics that are on the agenda. I forgot. Since we're not having the November 21st meeting, I would like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. I have vacation time to use or yeah, I lose that's it. Fine. That's something okay. I can approve. All right. Um, both Sandra and Jean Marie Tom have requested that they would like to edit some of our forms and permits. And with that process, they spoke to the IT person, Ryan, and he said we would have to purchase a PDF Editor Pro program for $179. We do have to make money. a motion to approve that. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. All right. So you guys can all right. get that going and we can right. do that in the next meeting. Um, and then one last thing before we close is that the there is a food drive for the food pantry. Um, I guess all of the departments in the town are going to participate. Um, you can drop the food off at the police department, the fire department, the DPW are here at Town Hall from November 14th to the 18th. It's a point system. They're trying to see who can generate. It's run by um, EB Insurance Company and Peter Spagone. So if anybody would like to drop off any food items, you can do that between November 14th and 18th, non-perishable at any of the local agencies, fire, police, DPW, or Town Hall. And that will bring our November 7th meeting to a close. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.